Hi friends, today we're going to take an overview of Module 2, Week 2 of EDUC 425. So if you click in the Module Folders and then click on Module 2, we'll be looking at Inclusive Education and this is asynchronous so you can do this work independently. So this first chunk here is the description, everything I'm telling you now. First thing you need to do is look at this Funds of Knowledge article and read that and then post one golden nugget, something, some takeaway, something that really stuck with you. For my classes, we created an introductory Padlet last week. So what I'd like you to do is go back into that Padlet and edit your reply. You could read my comments and enhance yours. So in order to do that, if you go to the top of the post, this little pencil comes up and you can click in your box and add more stuff at the bottom. When you are done, please respond to at least two other people's replies and you can review what they've posted about themselves so we can get to know each other better. So back to the module. Next thing you're going to do is go down to the Inclusive Education and IEP folder, kindly created by Dr. Amber Bouchard, our Inclusive Ed Director. So she takes us through some great content and thoughtful information. Note at the bottom is the co-teaching lesson plan template and an exem exemplar that you will use when you create your co-teaching lesson plan. So when you're done with that, what I'd like you to do is go back here and there's this YouTube link of a little about a 20 minute webinar with Marilyn Friend who is talking about co-teaching in the remote era and some of the challenges we're facing with inclusive and special education as well as general education, actually. It's, a, it's an excellent video, and I think it's absolutely relevant. So when you're done with all that, you're going to create a discussion board response reflecting on any of, that, any of those pieces that were significant to you. If you've never done that before, go to this discussions link, and here's the forum with a description of what we're asking you to do. So you click on the forum, and then create thread. You can Post the topic of your subject and your name in the, in the subject box, and then type your thread here and hit submit. And the grading, there's a simple rubric here. So it's 15 points total, seven points for your initial po post. And what I'm looking for here is a descriptive post that demonstrates that you've engaged with the content. So cite some of the information you've seen refer to some of the, the articles or text or videos. After your initial response, you will post to at least two of your colleagues' responses and make sure that your post pushes their thinking a little bit, takes them past their own, and then you get scored for writing grammar mechanics. So if you know you have challenges with writing, it might be simpler for you to create a separate Word document, write your post first, edit it, and then paste it into the box. I'd rather you not upload a separate doc document, just cut and paste it into the box to make it easier for everybody to view your post. So that is all you need for tonight. For the Monday classes, this work will be due on midnight Sunday, September 13th. For the Wednesday class, it will be due midnight Tuesday, September 15th. Let me know if you have questions.